I can honestly say this was the most exciting week in the history of Patch. Uh, we had uh, over three times the number of visits uh, to Patch sites all across the country, even some of our newer sites, um, than we have on an average day. Uh, we had an army of reporters and editors all over the country covering local news, uh, local elections, uh, propositions, measures, things coming through. Um, so the coverage was really phenomenal. But we have over 600 journalists hired at this point. Uh, we're the largest hire of journalists in 2010, which is something we're really proud of. The way it works is Patch provides a platform, the technology, some guidelines, and uh, the local editor in each community really makes the editorial decisions, and they work very closely with the regional editor. So a regional editor is someone who has more like 15 years experience uh, in a news organization. A local editor, uh, our average local editor has about 6.6 .6, uh, years experience. But we're really here to provide support and guidelines, uh, not so much dictate editorial decisions. So um, we knew that elections were going to be very, very important. Uh, the mission of Patch is to be the most useful, informative site, um, the place that everyone needs to go to, to live a better, more informed life in their community. So um, when elections were coming up, we really encouraged all of our journalists to get out there and, uh, and be first on the scene, you know, covering uh, some things that might not typically be covered by traditional media, by regional and, and metro media. Um, so we, we were out there 24-7. Uh, we had um, one of our sites that's only a month old, Santa Cruz uh, Patch in California, uh, was our largest visited site. Uh, there were a number of propositions uh, up for a vote in California. And um, it was amazing to see that brand new site uh, be our traffic leader for the week. Um, and that's just one example. In Narragansett, Rhode Island, uh, Narragansett Patch, um, there was a great uh, amount of coverage about a really controversial development measure that was going through, Measure G. Um, in Redondo Beach, uh, California, there was a, a similar story. Uh, I think there were 26 stories posted about a. Um, uh, an issue with beach development. So um, we couldn't be more thrilled that, uh, that we were the first on the scene in a lot of these uh, elections. But how is the tone or the point of view? Are, are Patrick uh, editors nice? Are they mean? Are they political? Uh, are they, are, do they like to be provocative? <laughs> yeah. they I think they're all very nice. No, uh, but they, uh, these are professional journalists, first and foremost. Um, you know, when we hire people, we make sure that they have uh, the utmost professionalism. Um, and then Patch itself is right down the middle. We, we provide a place for both sides of any issue to debate, to interact, to talk about, um, you know, each side. Uh, Patch editors don't take a political stance or a stance on any issue uh, in a community. They just provide the forum for that. Um, so uh, that's what we expect from all of our editors across the country. We had a ton of video around the election, um, which was great to see. So the way our uh, staffers work, we arm them with a video camera, a still camera, a laptop, a Blackberry, and a uh, um, police scanner. So they're kind of like walking mini newsrooms. And uh, they, you see them at the school board meetings, at the, um, at the zoning board meetings, covering a kid's soccer game. And uh, the same was true for elections. They were out there on the scene actually posting from polling places and, and you know, victory uh, celebrations. So um, video is just a natural fit for elections. How and, does that uh, work? How do, what do they do? They have, they have their own gear? Or? They have their own gear. They edit it themselves. Um, they, uh, we give them all a digital camera that they're out shooting, and um, they, uh, they do a great job editing and, and posting on the site really quickly. So it's, it, it becomes a very fast way to get uh, coverage up on the site. So tell us how people um, are aware of the local patches, and uh, is it sort of word of mouth? Is it you guys do much promotion? How does, how does it work it out? Well, we're kind of half Main Street business and half big internet company, and we try to take the best of both. So um, in one sense, having a local journalist who's out covering a soccer game or a, a school board meeting um, they become sort of mini celebrities in the town and everyone recognizes them and they say, oh, I got to go look at Patch to see this story that just got posted. Uh, and we get a lot of people finding Patch that way. Um, at the same time, we do a lot of grassroots marketing like a, like a Main Street business would. Uh, we hand out flyers at the train station. Uh, we put posters on the, uh, on the commuter rail. Um, we do events. We have a booth that we set up at the you know, local events in, in town. And um, then as a bigger company, we have uh, a lot that we do with uh, social media like Facebook and Twitter. 
Um, we recently announced a deal, a distribution deal with Starbucks where um, every Starbucks that has a patch in it uh, will have a feed of local patch news when you come in and sign up or sign on to the free Wi-Fi in the Starbucks. Uh, and there's probably a hundred more deals like that that we'll be looking at. So, um, you know, it's really important to us that we take the best of local and the best of uh, being a national company and mix them. Is there any strategic arrangement with AOL or is, it, is that basically just the corporate owner in terms of either, you know, the news gathering or operations or, or sales or anything else? Or is it pretty much a separate deal? Uh, there's a few things. So, um, you know, we're very tightly uh, woven in with a lot of different parts of AOL. Um, one notable one would be the distribution. So MapQuest recently went through a redesign. And as part of that, uh, when you plot a trip through a patch town, or if you're looking at a map of a patch town on MapQuest, on the new, the new version of MapQuest, uh, patch content will show up, uh, patch listings. Um, the new AOL homepage, which just launched, has uh, a local module that if you indicate what town you're from, you'll see uh, your local content coming from patch. Uh, so there's a lot of ways that we work with different, uh, different AOL properties. Um, and then in terms of uh, sales, you know, we work with their national sales team quite a bit. Um, and then in a lot of ways, we work uh, independently. So for next year, right now, we are the largest hire of journalists, something we're really proud of. We're, um, we're going to build up to over 500 sites this year. Uh, at the end How of the, many do you have now? We have 325 as of this moment, but that changes every day. Uh, so we're going to keep building up to uh, 500 by the end of this year. Um, take a look around. Uh, make sure that our, all of our sites are the most helpful, useful uh, sites on the planet um, in terms of connecting communities, and then decide, okay, where, where to next. Any thoughts about the future of journalism? I mean, you're, you're kind of uh, in a pretty important role here in terms of journalism and hiring. And As the internet gets noisier and noisier and people are getting information from a lot of different places, sites like Patch.com become more and more important because um, we're really about the place that you live, the place that you send your kids to school, where you make voting decisions, where you spend most of your disposable income, where you pay your taxes. Um, there needs to be a trusted source of information uh, in that community, and there needs to be a way to voice your opinion and share information with the people who share your common geography. So it's, um, we believe that Patch.com represents one way that uh, journalism is going to evolve into the future. Um, and I think there are a number of others. You know, as national media changes, we're going to be the local source, and there's going to be a lot of different players in the national and regional uh, arena as well. The, the issues that are more important to me are usually more on the Democratic side, so that's why I vote that way. But as far as who's going to win, or I, I really don't know.